the deadline for the first council meetings after the local government elections over two weeks ago is approaching fast. But the establishment of coalitions to govern the 70 hung municipalities across the country is proving to be quite difficult. Our senior politics reporter, Zianda Ngobo, she was at the EFF's briefing on coalitions earlier today. Zianda, good afternoon to you. It's an easy joke to make. Everyone will talk about who they won't talk to. Yeah. Very few people will talk about who they will talk to. Part of this is the complexity. If you look at Ekuruleni, you look at Joburg, you look at Tswane, it's actually very difficult to get a coalition together above 50%. It's very difficult to get a coalition together, especially because the dynamics in each, of one, each one of those municipalities is different and the outcomes are very different. So, for an example, um, the EFF wouldn't necessarily need Action SA in Ekuruleni, but in the cities of Johannesburg and Tswane, the EFF and, and Action SA would be able to work together. Interestingly, today, uh, EFF leader Julius Malema saying that they've Close the door on the ANC uh, for good. They are not going to reverse this decision. And this will have an impact, for an example, Stephen, where I was last week in the Zululand District Municipality, where in order to take hold of that district, which has five local municipalities, you'd need a relationship between the ANC, NFP, and EFF. So that's now off the table. Um, and now that the ANC is no longer um, a, an option for the EFF, it also opens the door then for the EFF to possibly renegotiate or open the door uh, for action. They say, in fact, well, Julius Malema says their door is still open. In fact, it was Herman Mashaba who left them at the table. Let's listen to what he had to say. The negotiation team held two official meetings in, with Asian Action XA in South Africa. While there was a, a, a degree of mutual understanding and to some extent agreements with Action XA on their approach to municipalities to which they represented in. We learned via media that Action SA will not work with the EFF in the, ma in the manner in which we had proposed. We respect Action SA decision on coalition and hope that their decision is autonomous from external influences. We have not moved away from Action SA. The Action SA left us on the table. We are still there. They know where to find us. We have not shut the door for SA, Action SA. The man wants to come, let him come and talk to us. We have no problem uh, because we have taken a conscious decision to be extremely patient with Mashawa because he's a political illiterate. So such people you have to take along. You don't be impatient uh, with them. He doesn't know politics yet. So uh, from time to time, he will make those things that he makes but he's going to realize over a period of time that politics don't work like that. I wonder if Herman Mashab is prepared to take lessons from Julius Malema. Maybe we should <laughs> ask him next time. Um, it, it opens up all sorts of possibilities. Yeah. So this also means the EFF and the IFP can work together. Well, certainly, and in fact, that's the one concrete thing we got out of the briefing today, that the EFF and the IFP will be working together. So in areas such as Zululand, as our district municipality, as I was mentioning, the IFP will still retain their position. It also, in many ways, dwindles the amount of influence um, given the growth trajectory of the EFF in KwaZulu-Natal of the ANC and, and them being able to retain that major majority position that they have. But... If you look at uh, the, 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 the relationship that Malema's described between him and Action SA, it leaves the city of Johannesburg hanging, given the fact that in Twane, the DA leader, John Steenhaven today, was saying that they've been in talks with the ACDP, the Freedom Front Plus, and together they'd have, I think, about 108 seats uh, and COPE mm -hmm. as well, um, which means they'd have a clear majority in Twane, which is, is a metro that the DA really, really wanted. But in Nelson Mandela Bay as well, um, it, pre it, pre it presents a different um, you know, scenario altogether. So what I think I'm looking out for is whether or not Action SA and EFF will still come together um, and possibly change the fate of the city of Johannesburg. Sure. Um, there's also been, a, you know, the EFF launched their, their demands pretty early yeah. on. That might be yeah. why the ANC is no longer talking to them. <laughs> uh, but they include land expropriation. They mm. include 24-hour operating hours for clinics. They include a reserve bank nationalization. Squashing student debt. All of these things. I mean, these are not local government issues. Malemi are defending their demands today. Defending them, saying that, well, South Africa is a unitary state um, and that, you know, there needs to be some semblance of uniformity. Well, that is uh, somewhat of an argument, Stephen. He also did concede, though, that one of the, the issues that they've tabled is, a is, is to squash student debt, which is not something that municipalities have 
a mandate or the scope to deal with it within the law to actually deal with. Um, and, and, and I think that response by, by Malema well, in some ways was quite defensive um, because, yes, you, you have the Municipal Structures Act um, uh, where, which guides municipalities. Yes, you could technically expropriate land um, you know, at a municipal level, but those are not the immediate issues that are dealt with at a local government level. Those are not the immediate issues that citizens um, were raising and dealing with in this election, which led to the, uh, the, the, the result of 66 hung councils. So uh, water, electricity, I mean, I asked a question then about what should happen because with ESCOM, because you've got, uh, you know, areas such as Soweto um, dealing with, with the power crisis there. And, and really there was no real concrete answer as well as to, well, how is that going to be dealt with during these coalition talks at a municipal level? So the answer I got was that, well, we're not negotiating with municipalities, we're negotiating with political parties who at least need to commit to certain principles um, that they would want to sort of roll out, if I could put it that way, at a local and provincial level. Thanks very much indeed. Keep your phone close, your calculator <laughs> even closer. She's our senior politics reporter.